Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Jacob Plays. Today, we're going to be playing Rocket League. Now, we're going to be doing one casual match and one extra modes match. We'll be doing a 2v2 and a drop shot match, okay? Now, I'm still relatively new to the game, so don't expect any super cool game player like Move of the Centuries. I'm just here to give you some entertainment. Now, yes, I'm level 26, but this is uh, my... I'm sharing this account with my friend. My personal account, I'm only level 12, which is my adequate skill level. Now, how about we get five likes on this video? Okay, five likes, and then I will bring my friend on for the next Rocket League video. You think we can do that? Alright. We're gonna go into a 2v2 match. Now, if any of you, uh, ever have played this game before, uh, why don't you leave a comment down below, okay? If anybody watching this video has played it before, you can leave a comment for us, okay? And it looks like we're joining in a game that just started. So, we'll, we will be, uh, hopping into a game because somebody has quit, by the looks of it. Yeah, you saw that flash of light, that was, uh, him quitting. And we will be joining in in his place. So, uh, looks like we are blue team for this uh, game. They are orange team. Now, I'm much better than, at offense than defense here. So, I'll be trying to go after the ball and get it into their side of the field. My friend, who will be joining us uh, next episode, we get five likes on this video. Um, however, is a great defender. Which is why when we play together, we do rather well, as long as we one up. But I can make decent shots on goal. Um, I'm not the best. That, that shot could have been better. I can always improve, but I think I'm pretty good. Nobody ever slows down and backs up anymore in this game. So doing that can just get you a free shot like that sometimes. They weren't ready for me to back up, and they charged me. So I had the free shot. That is strategy. My friend actually taught me that. He's very good at this game. He's put um, a, a, quite a lot of time in this game. I think he holds a bit more than half of our total time on this game. And we played it for roughly 24 hours in total. I think now we're at. I've, I've been keeping track of this game, but We've been playing. We've played a lot of this game in this account. So we're, we're decent at the game. He's a very good defender, as I mentioned. He will be joining us at five likes. Please subscribe as well if you want to see more. If YouTube won't want. If, if you like the video, YouTube won't just automatically recommend it to you. Subscribing and hitting the notification bell. It's what'll actually get you uh, like constant notifications that hey, I posted a new video. If you want to see more, okay. If you don't, um, it's fine. The views still help out in the long run, so I still thank you even if you didn't like and subscribe. But I, uh, but it really helps us out if you do, because um, I will have back more friends joining us in the future uh, for different games as well. Um, I have plans for uh, a couple other people to join us. Maybe join up with some other YouTubers sometime. I have my eyes set on uh, a few YouTubers in particular that I'm a huge fan of. They, they, they're who inspired me to start YouTube. And I really want to join up with them. So maybe if we can get this channel big enough, uh, we can get in contact with them. Okay? Now, back to the game. We're at 2-2 uh, it's at two -two with uh, half the game left, and we are top. Could be doing better, could be doing worse. We're not doing half bad. So, the way this game works for anybody who's never played this game before, in, is that uh, it's basically soccer, but with cars. <laughs> with Rocket As the name Rocket League. Now there actually, if some of you might be getting confused, there was a very, there was a very old Wii game uh, that was bowling related called Rocket League. So that is not this. This is a car, a race car game. And um, 
I, as you can probably tell right now, I'm playing on PC. Some people think controller people have the advantage in games like Fortnite or, uh, or PUBG or those fancy Battle Royale games. But regardless of uh, the game, it doesn't really matter. Some games do favor controller or PC more than others. However, it's very important to remember skill levels vary between people, not between the devices they're using. So, like, these guys could be both on controller, and this other guy in playing with could be on PC like me. And we could kick their butts one day, but if we rematch them, they could kick our butts. It's as simple as that. It's. it's yeah, there's nothing about, there's nothing fancy about it, it's just, there's no skill value added to whatever side. Now, there is, in some games, I will admit, in my opinion, some games like Fortnite or PUBG favor PC players. Because the game requires a lot of precision, and controller does not give that to you. Much too sensitive. The slightest movement will move, uh, like three inches across the screen. So, there may be a way to turn that down, but I don't think so. Yeah. And another thing about this game in particular, a few other games might have this feature, uh, but not a whole lot of games allow people to join in mid-game. Like the soccer games, like this is realistic enough to the point where people can be swapped out for uh, other players. Not necessarily in the sense of trying to mimic soccer, but in the sense that the game developers put a lot of hard work into this game, and it's not copycatting any game from the real world necessarily. It's more of a combination of uh, like a, a, a drifter race um, and soccer, which are two rather really different things, and it's cool how they were able to combine them into such a unique and diverse game. Now, uh, we just entered overtime, which, for uh, anybody who's never really played sports or don't, doesn't know, is uh, overtime is when both sides are tied, and there is uh, no time left in the game. You move on to overtime, which extends the game longer. Now, most games have like an, have an overtime period of like 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 20 minutes extra overtime. Not this game. This game can last forever. So, don't go thinking that these are limited to the 5 minute timer that they get. The 5 minute timer is more of a mercy. If both teams are evenly matched and don't win the score, it'll go until somebody finally scores. But, uh, if they're getting their butts whooped, they didn't want the game to last any longer than it had to for the losers. The losing team. So, they, uh, made the 5 minutes. Because see, we're already a minute into overtime, and there is no, like, hey, you only got a minute left overtime. That won't happen. I've gone five whole, I've gone double game into overtime. I've gone ten minutes into overtime. But you see, I just scored there at a minute fifteen in, which will give us the W. So now, after this game, we'll be heading into drop shot. Which is in the extra modes, which you can unlock at level ten on that account, on, on your account, for this game. So that is something to keep in mind if you'd ever want to play those game modes. Well, I have to give some respect to these guys. Their ping is super high, so they might not have been playing at their full potential. This also leads me to believe they might be playing on mobile devices, but they still played really well. So I, re I respect players who, even though they're losing, they don't leave. I respect that kind of, and I respect players who, even though they realize they're eventually gonna lose, they don't just like, hey, I'm gonna leave now. I've met a couple players in my time when we're getting their, they're getting their butts whooped really early on in the game, to the point where they can easily make a comeback, and they're just like, nope, I've lost, I'm out of here. It's not, it's not a fun experience, because then the game lasts like two seconds. So, really, um, really, in reality, you're gonna want to be that player who sticks around and tanks through it. If the other team leaves and gives you mercy, then heck, it's good for you. But that's not the case. In this case. Uh, so I should, I'm gonna start explaining this game. Uh, the way drop shot works is 
um, you hit the ball and it gains power, static electricity, because of that. So, the more you hit it, the more electricity it gains, and if it hits your side, it'll make hexagons. If it hits that same spot again, it'll make holes. If the ball goes in the hole on your side, the other team will hold. Same for you. The goal is to score, score like that as many times as you can. And right now we're getting our foot. They have a ton of holes on us, a ton of uh, broken stuff on our side, and we have to touch them. So, we're not doing too hot. Yeah. With, um, with four minutes left already, nobody has scored yet. And we did just get some serious damage off on them. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't say we've gotten really close. However, it appears they have a hole on their side. Which is weird. I don't think they'll be able to block it. Oh, they blocked it? Alright. Ooh, got blown up. Ah. When the ball gets above you, most people use ball vision like me. So when the ball gets a uh, ball cam, I guess. So when the ball gets right up above you, it's hard to judge where it's gonna actually be again. Oh, and you must remember that no matter what color the ball is, it'll always fall in the hole. So you really just want to keep the ball off of your side to prevent that from happening right there. That is the bad. We are losing. So, this game, this game mode is really fun. It, it's, it's very unique and interesting, the way it's played, and the way that you have to hit the same spot twice. So in a sense, it's like you have to score twice in order to get the point. Which I think is a cool feature for mechanic to have in the mode. Um, another thing about this game mode, uh, when you get scored on, your side totally resets. The holes are all gone. The enemy's team side, however, does not reset. Now they have a bunch of holes. And see, uh, Itamai, Itamai, please forgive me for not pronouncing that right, um, but he scored in that tiny hole in the back there, which is hilarious. Now their side gets a reset. This is almost a full reset, but we still have a little bit. So now, uh, for the next two minutes, we're going to be continuing this process for this gameplay until one of us loses. At the end of the two minutes, if nobody else has scored, we're also headed to overtime in this game. And unlike in the normal, uh, in the normal soccer mode, I'm going to follow, you regen your boost. Uh, over time, since there are no booster packs in this game. I don't want to call it version because it is the same the game version. So that there's that. So what's happening here? Um, if you have if ball has freshly been reset, then it won't really do a whole lot. It'll just do the one tile every now and every time it hits the ground. So what you, you really want to try and hit it a bunch before you let it hit your bad comments. And you want to make sure it doesn't hit your side with their color. You really want to try and keep it off your side at all times, at all times. It's really just a bad thing to happen. Oh, our, so you see our side is a bunch of hexagons, which means we're probably going to lose here in a minute. Another point at least. But... Yeah, we're gonna lose another point here in a minute. But I wanna try and get the one our goal is to get as much damage to them as possible so we can quickly score another point after our side is set. Really at this point when there's so many holes on our side we just wanna keep it away. Oh, and if it rolls from one side to the other and it's the color. It actually won't do anything. Oh my, our teammate saved it and almost got the damage. This ball is super static. So it's going to do a whole lot of the hit. And it hit! 
So now they do have a hole. So I'm, this is good damage, so I'm happy if they, oh, well actually we don't want this for us. Because of the time, there's not, because we still have to actually, if we do intend to score again, we have to do it before the time is So, that, that. Overtime, I wouldn't mind. Mainly because, ugh, probably, oh, I got an epic save point, nice. Unless we get it in a, in a hole of theirs now, we're really not going to do too well in the overtime. Unless we set it for overtime, I've never been in a So it doesn't, okay. So what, we're really going to have to try and be a bit careful here, so I'm actually going to play defense. Okay, we all missed it. Yeah, just go ahead and bounce. Uh, that was interesting. I don't think I've ever seen somebody miss before. Oh no, it's going to... Oh, I hit it. It's good. It's good. Oh, it got in the hole. So that's going to be a loss for us. 14 seconds into overtime. That was a beautiful hit by Beth. Like, that, there's nothing more to, to it than that was beautiful. So they are victorious. We did not do the best in this game mode, but we did do good. We did not do bad. We got the Guardian Angel 1 epic save and the Enforcer bump set 57 cars. So, let's head back to the main menu because I'm afraid that's all we have time for today, everybody. So, you know what? I'm gonna see you next time with a brand new game for our next video. So I will see you on the flip flop.